Hello, and we're good. We are good. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing well over there? Hopefully it's uh, doing well in your place. I'm doing pretty well myself. And we get a follow. Thank you very much for the follow there. Country. Is it Country Boy Cubby? I'm, I, I am very good at butchering names, so you're going to have to maybe type in there to get me. Oh, ah, there's the postman. Hello, welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. Hope, you, hope you're doing well. I can say that name, though, definitely. The postman. I, uh, that, that one's a little easier. <laughs> uh, it's nice to see all you. I should probably move to a screen that has my face in it, right, guys? Yeah. Welcome. Hey, it's me. The guy with, uh, who's in desperate need of a haircut. How you guys doing? Hello, worst gamer. Oh goodness! Uh, you're, you're pretty funny. You're my you're my kind of humor. <laughs> Just making fun of myself. You're oh you're a Mega Blaze. Oh okay. Well that makes it even better. Thanks man. Uh, it's nice to see you. Got the whole short short circuit static uh static shop team here. We'll see me in a few. I will see you in a few. Your coach, your coach, your captain did say that you'd be playing. So, uh, gotta give it up to you and postman. Uh, we have a pretty exciting match coming down, you know. As I've said again, we have uh, Short Circuit Gaming's Static Shock and Radiant Phantoms uh, ready to play. And we will be getting off in a few minutes. You guys are ready, right? Hope you guys are doing hello there, Postman. It's nice to see you. Oh, my eyes are just tearing. My eyes are going crazy. Yeah, it's been a pretty uh, hectic uh, week for me. It was just came from a really long vacation. It was amazing. It was in Costa Rica. It was it was beautiful. Everything you expect. Tons of monkeys. Tons of sloths. I didn't have to speak too much Spanish, which is nice because I didn't have to embarrass myself. I I'm not very good at speaking other languages. I'm American. Um. So it was a great trip. I uh, do have some pictures. But I don't, but they're on my phone, and I'm on my computer right now, so that's going to be impossible. Uh, you know, I, coming home was a bit hectic, almost missed my flight. Uh, and, uh, well, the, the airplane company did miss something, they did miss our uh, luggages, so that is hopefully going to be uh, driven to my house in a day or two, hopefully. Um, but at least I brought my computer with me, so I can do some casting. I am pretty well rested, actually, surprisingly, since I came home at, like, 3 a.m. So it's pretty rough. That is not the right screen there, Simon. This one. There you go. You guys got to see a screen for a different league I'm a part of. Uh, I'm gonna... They actually, that league actually hasn't started yet, so... That's also the wrong thing. That's a show match that I did a while ago. There we go. <laughs> we got the right screen. Took us a, took us three chances. Um, three strikes somehow, isn't it? Isn't that how it works? Uh, but we have our match ahead of us. Radiance Phantoms versus uh, Short Circuit Gaming's Static Shock. Uh, it's going to be a Tier 3 2v2 matchup. As both these teams, I do know the Radiance Phantom squad. I know Maple pretty well. I know Beats. Both of those guys are actually quite consistent. I know them uh, pretty well. I have actually played against Maple before, and uh, well, I beat him. Uh, I don't know if that means anything, but... No, they're great guys over there at Radiance. No, nothing but love for those guys. I'm part of them. Uh, we're so it's going to be an interesting matchup. Both teams doing pretty well in the scoring department, the shooting department, getting a lot of goals. But obviously, can they continue it? We've just we've only had one week of experience, and I, they, they, I don't know if you guys got casted. Don't know if your I don't know if your last match is up anywhere. If it is, please do uh, let me know. I'd love to get people to watch those uh, things. I love to. Support other creators. As I'm going to currently make the lobby info. And. There we go. I will make sure to send the info out to uh, both teams. As. I mean. I, I, I'm going to ask this. Uh, how, how do you guys? How are you guys? How confident are you guys over there? Because confidence is everything in this uh, game. But I wanted to see how confident are you? How confident are you guys over there? I want to know because uh, you know it's Rocket League. It's a it's a game that requires confidence. 
And you need confidence to do well. As I'm going to just move over to the in-game screen. Both teams are 1-0. and And uh, both teams, are again, have done pretty well at the scoring department. I feel like a bronze. Oh, okay. Same. Well, no. Um, you guys aren't doing very well. You've, you're, you're just giving more fuel to Radiance. You guys got to be confident. Or not. I don't know how you guys work, but I recommend being confident personally. Because if you don't have that confidence, then uh, who's going to believe in you? But... But, I mean, hey, look, some people up do really well when they have no pressure on them. So maybe that's what you guys are doing. I mean, it's, it's a good strategy. I do it a lot myself, actually. Whenever I'm in, like, a super tough situation where I'm in super stressed, and I've been in those situations before, I've won IGL, it's, uh, it gets, it's really complicated. And Postman. Hello, Postman. Let me just send you the... There you go, Postman. I got you the info. You can join now. As, uh... Hopefully you guys like the Twitter post. That's a new thing I've been doing. A tip. I mean, yes. I mean, this is this game, there's no... In a lot of sports, there's a lot of physical stuff. But Rock League doesn't have that. Except unless you consider uh, working your fingers off as exercise. Which, I mean, some people do. Just ask Violent Panda. He's got tendinitis from how hard he works. Uh... I mean, if you guys are... I mean, you have to have confidence. It's all a mental game in Rocket League. All of it's mental. You don't have that mental game, then nothing. Then you won't get anything out of it. So you gotta be confident in yourself. You gotta kind of... And if you're not confident, you gotta trick your brain into being confident. So, I mean, I, I believe in you guys. You guys obviously want to know for a reason. You're averaging 5.33 goals a game, which is absurd. And you yourself, I'm uh, Omega, I'm pretty sure you're averaging, like, two goals a game? Something crazy. It's it's a crazy amount of goals. Uh, let's see, yeah, you're averaging 2.33, which is, it's a crazy amount of goals. Now, on the other side of the field, Maple, I mean, both players on Radiance are, uh, are, are averaging 2.25 goals. With, I think, with Maple dominating an assist at 1.25, so... Again, it's a huge offensive strategy. Now, you guys should be confident in the fact that you do have more goals on average, 5.3. You also were the ones that get a sweep, so maybe that factors into it. But you you do have more goals on average, and your three games that you played, you are averaging five goals a game, which over five goals a game, which is so many goals. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you score three goals a game. Just look at my like two matches last season. I could not. I was not. A, I was not scoring a lot. It was tough. It was really tough for me to score. The the level of play in this in this league only only amazes me how good people can get at Rocket League. And uh, again, you are averaging two. Postman's are averaging like three, is averaging exactly three goals a game. And saves department, I think everybody's averaging like over over a save per game. So you guys are doing pretty well. Postman, postman, yes. Oh, hello, debt collector. <laughs> Great name. Great name, by the way. I love that the debt collector. Uh, you guys are coming in with some great names over there. How you doing? Obviously, I see you're repping the Postman champ. Nice to support him. I mean, he's been doing well. Definitely seeming to be a very strong performance in, for him in the first match. Three goals a game. So, I definitely can't blame you for that. As we have everybody in. Yoda is in. Who is Yoda? Is that Master Yoda? From... Yeah, it is Yoda. Oh, it's his first match then. Right? Let me check. Yeah, it is. Beats is not going to be playing then. Alright, I thought... Alright, we got a uh, the first match with Yoda. That's going to be cool. I know him. Hello, Mr. Ginger. And everybody's getting in. Postman. Is that a... Is that a scarab? <laughs> Postman, man, you are surprising me. Oh my god, I know there's a lot of people who love to play with funny cars, but... God, he's doing the flakes uh, routine where he's playing with a scarab. I love that. I gotta respect you, man, though. Great car. It's got, a, it's got an octane hitbox. They fixed the uh, the uh, the problem with its wheels where it wouldn't hit the ball and at all if it, hit, if it hit the wheels, so it's great. And honestly, it looks like a ball. You, just, you become one with the ball in the scarab. It's... It <laughs> I love that car, guys. 
There's Boseman. He's going to try to clip with the Scarab. Oh, my goodness. Yoda gets his first ever save in this season's Indie Gaming League. Great start for him. As Mega Blaze. Oh, he's going to tap that one in. They got a save, and immediately the, uh, on the uh, return, Omega Blaze, no you, he's going to put that one in the net. Already, again, this is going to be a warm-up match, especially for Yoda, Master Yoda. Uh, this is his first match of the season. I don't know how much experience he has on this team. And on your first match, you can't help but feel a little bit of nerves. You know, like, it's your first match ba back, you don't know if everybody's going to play. Your team already has a very has already won their first match quite confidently, I might add. So you gotta like, and some people will take it slow, but uh, and will like stay back. But he's not doing that. He's gonna dish up a nice pass to Maple, and that will tie up the series one one. Now that scoring prowess from those teams, we're definitely seeing it here. Usually, in a lot of times with these first matches, teams will we'll do one of two things. They'll either play super defense, super. Uh, paranoid, or they'll play all out, try to take that first game. And right now, both teams definitely trying to score as much as possible. What a dunk from Postman. Actually, he's going to save Short, uh, Short Circuit Gaming's static shock from a potential counterattack from Radiance Phantoms. So while it's a very funny looking play, it does help them in the end. Maple will clear this one back. Gonna follow it up himself. He's got options in the middle and option in the middle. Yoda and Maple Syrup takes away the option. Accidentally hits the ball into him. As both players on short circuit sitting pretty far back, sitting pretty with a lot of boost. And they get a pinch! <laughs> what a pinch! Postman gets credit. But it's his team play at its finest. Postman, Omega Blaze, powers united. Over 150 kilometers per hour. What a pinch, and that's a statement. Oh my goodness. Talking about bringing out the heat, and Omega Blaze doing just that. Well, he won't get credit, he will be given an assist. As we're going to definitely want to see those team plays helping out. That is how a lot of teams become successful in twos, those team plays. Being able to utilize both players on offense. Being able to utilize every facet of the game. As Omega Blaze gets a demo to relieve all the pressure. Being able to play your game, being able to have multiple options. There's a lot of things that make you successful in twos. But one of them is trusting your teammates, being able to go for those kind of plays. And we're seeing that Short Circuit Gaming has that. As still, I'm that pinch absolutely ground-shattering. Make a plays. We'll make that stop. Almost catches him with Yoda. And Postman clears. He's going to go for this one himself. Maple in his net. Ready. This one cleared to Maple. And Omega going to clear it down. Maple back on his own. He will fit that one through. As we have a follow here. From Miguel, I think it is. Thanks for following, man. Well, let's focus on that shot. What a shot for Maple. Slotted top right corner. Top right. Bottom right corner. Fit where no defender could go. And that's another goal for Radiance Phantoms. You wonder, with how many goals have been scored, is it the defense that's going to win this match? But it doesn't look like it. Not for short circuit. Postman will get a third goal. And another assist from Omega. Talk about the teamwork. There's another assist from him. We saw it one. We heard it to him from the absolutely insane pinch play. And he gets one himself on that one. And this ball will go to the back corner. We'll make a blaze. Looking to see if he can complete the Playmaker Award. And Postman, I think he's looking for a hat trick in this game. Yoda. Gets a demo on his way there. It will go all the way back. And that midfield... Short Circuit has done a lot better at containing the midfield. 
And right, in plays like those, Omega Blaze does get dunks from Maple on that one. Give it a high and postman. Harmless play. They'll take it to the sidewall, looking for a solo play. Two. Shoot this. And he loses his flip. That play lasted just over the amount of time. About 1.5 seconds. To get your flip off. And here we go. The stats. Here from Mega Blaze. He's, he's still sitting on two assists. Looking for a third. Definitely possible. But still, not out of the woods yet. It's only a one goal difference. But, and knowing how, how much these two teams like to score, I have to expect another goal can come at any moment now. Maple. Leered long. Looking for a second touch. Can't get it. Ran out of boost. Namaka. And now the question is, does Static Shock sit on defense? They have 30 seconds. Definitely enough time to just wait out the play. They're in the lead by a goal. And while they can't afford to concede, maybe the better play is just sitting back, not letting yourself overcommit. Not going for anything you don't have to. But they're not doing that. They're holding this, op this offense. But it will be cleared back. Last chance gasp. In the mid. Postman clears it away. Static Shock takes this one. Three goals to two. A close first game. And definitely got to give the... Uh, Gotta give the support here to Omega Blaze. Absolutely incredible game for him. Two assists. I didn't even see those three saves that he made. That is so impressive. As someone's giving me a follow. Plato, I have actually no clue who that is. <laughs> uh, but on the other side, we can see Radiance Phantoms playing a lot of defense. Nine saves altogether. Didn't even count them. My goodness, nine saves. As we will go to game two. Uh, before that, though, let me give... The point. Two. Static Shock. Second game. He's on Forbidden Temple if I can get it. Where is it? No, it's Farmstead. And we will be ready for game two. Again, great games from both teams. Definitely nothing to be afraid of. It was a feeler match. But for Radiance Phantoms, they gotta hold that midfield better. That's the that's the one thing that's been killing them here. Static Shock have been playing more offense. And in a game like Rocket League, while you can have great defense, you can only go so far. You need to be good on both sides of the field. All facets of the game to be able to do it. As Maple, 400 ping, my goodness. I know he's Canadian and all, but it's, the ping can't be that bad up there. To my brothers up north. Game one. We'll now concede to game two. As we're going to look to see teams start to warm up here. Yoda is going to stay in and he gets a goal. Another goal for Yoda. And that is and that's either his second or third I'm pretty sure of as uh, for goals. And Postman Yoda, another kickoff going the way of Radiance Phantoms. I want to see a change here. And Sweet Maple, almost on target. Postman trying to deke out Yoda. Able to, it's up high. And Maple makes the backboard save, but it is rolling down. Dangerous! Mega Blaze makes the save. As hello, Ginger. Thank you for the follow. I did see you earlier. Nice to see you sticking around. Hopefully this, this gameplay is exciting for you. And uh, hopefully the stream's holding up. I had some, uh, t I had tons of stream issues the last time I did some casting. I was, running, uh, I was running graphics that are way too hard for my PC, so I've lowered them, and they should be running fine. But obviously, let me know if there's any issues. As we're seeing them pepper the backboard again, that one almost going through. It's Maple trying to get the ball out. If he wants to get, he wants to just force a chance here for Radiance, but without any boost, he's gonna have to make some magic happen. And down, overcommit from Yoda. Mega Blaze. Gonna try to shoot this one on his own. They weren't going for the, d the demo play. And again, they're mixing it up here on short circuit. Last game, all about the team plays. This one. Backboard. Backboard hit shots. As well as demos. They're, they're changing it up a little bit. Looking good for you guys? Oh, that's nice to see. Thank you guys for the comments. I hope, I hope, I hope, this, yeah, I hope the match is exciting as, as it should be. Both teams coming undefeated. I'm really excited to see what they can do. 
is this one trying to shoot it behind Yoda. A good idea. Both players were trying, were screening across the nets to make that one. But we're able to put on the brakes and back it up there to get that save. Ghostman isn't able to get the catch. He's going to have to concede to a 50-50. But that one going towards the Radiance net. Dangerous Radiance needs to break out. A great save from Yoda using his crossbar. And, do, and making a pinch. This one across Postman. And, and the post will stop that one. Omega Blaze gets his goal. So many shots. Let's count them up, everybody. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shots to 2. This game, even tougher than the last one for a Radiance Phantoms fan. As I don't remember the last time they were on the, on the orange half. They're going to need to break out this game. Starting to get away from them. And there's still three minutes remaining, and I'm saying that. They have to get some offense going. Their defense has been strong, but the offense needs to be there. They haven't able, been able to generate it. And credit to Static Shock. That midfield, especially that midfield kept by Omega Blaster. Omega Blaster? Omega Blaze has been absolutely insane. They've been utilizing the walls, especially to advantage, just to keep the ball in that offensive half a little bit longer. Trying to see if they can keep that ball, keep that possession. They've been very stringent. And another 50-50 will go the way of Static Shark. And look at there. Radiance so far back, they weren't able to take advantage of that mistake. In this game, definitely looking tough for him. Going to have to take his time here. Shoots it off the sidewall. Just trying to waste some time here. Like some boost. He does get the save, but gets absolutely deleted for his efforts. Spawns on the on the right side of the field. But they call him the post man. He's hitting the post. Everybody, that's good. <laughs> I just noticed that. Nice one, big guys. You got better humor than I do. Maple syrup does collect. Good job noticing. Being cool on the goal line. Waiting the shot out. Omega Blaze. In an awkward position here. And Maple trying to just push that win to the midfield. Give it. Yoda a chance to score another one. And what and the and while these matches have been very one sided in the pressure, was what can't be disheartening for Radiance Phantoms is that they're still in it. There's only one goal separating them. Once again, a very similar scoreline to the last game they played. But both teams are playing much stronger defense. And Maple. Yeah, I was going to clear this one out. It's a race to the ball. It's going to roll up the back ball. Postman, Omega Blaze, call to action. We'll have to concede this one to Yoda, though. It's going to go across. A passing play. Postman can catch up to it. You know, you pinch to the mid. Yoda and Maple double commits. It's probably going to peter out that offensive pressure. And another demo here on Maple. In this game... Slowly slipping through the fingertips. Maple going to try to find that sidewall. Mega Blaze to the mid. Here's a chance. Yoda up for Maple. Maple with a chance with a redirect. Just not able to do it. And a demo play. Removes Yoda and removes that pressure from Radiance. And that 50 only adds insult to injury. Rolling across. A chance. The net's open. Yoda. All he has to do is drive it right through. 2-2 two, two tied. Last seconds of the game. And it's an overcommit from Short Circuit. Static Shock. They've been, they've been so good in the midfield. They've been so disciplined. And one mistake will leave them tied. They're going to need to look for a third goal if they want to take this one. Maybe they, maybe they can get one here. A demo, though, from Yoda. And Maple waiting for the ball. Gonna get a, gonna try to get a flick on. Can't get it. Postman cleared. Probably gonna just try to let this one drop. And he does. Oh, it's overtime game two. And both teams been so, so efficient on offense. But what has been the stopper here has been the defense of Radiance Phantoms. But now they need to score once more. One goal will do it. Postman cleared. And for, stat and for static shock, last game we saw what they were, what they did when they were nervous, and that one almost going in. Postman, <laughs> he's gonna go do another part of his name. He's gonna hit the crossbar. 
You gotta call that strategy, guys. Of course it's strategy, he's hitting the crossbar. And that one, definitely not intentional. Yeah, and almost leading to an absolutely hilarious way to end this game. Well, hilarious if you're on Radiance. I mean, not so much if you're Static Shock. Uh, as Postman, they're looking, Static Shock wants to keep some pressure. They are, they are spreading out a little bit more here. Not willing to make the same mistake they did before. 50-50, and they've been winning that 50 game in the midfield. They've been 15 with pace, and that's what been, what's been doing it for them. As another one, Omega Blaze needs to race back. Beat out Yoda, but he can't. Another one goes in. Another goal. Another breakaway here. In Radiance Phantoms. Well, it may not look the prettiest. He got It all counts the same. Omega Blaze smokescreened. And he, and he pushes up just a little too far. Radiance Phantoms takes that. And while no teams, none of these two teams have been averaging the same amount of goals they did coming in. We, j we need to see some consistency here. Static Shock caught out. The, their strength became their weakness as Phantoms took, they get, took those goals by storm. Well, and while their breakaways, they all count. Again, they all count the same here. As we're moving on to map 3. EFH Stadium. How are you guys doing over there? This is actually a really exciting series. Could actually run out. Could actually run into uh, game five. Postman, all scared players are like that. He's my teammate. In oh, okay. Got it. Got it there. Uh, godly captures. It's nice. Nice to see you, Postman. Postman throws. I wouldn't say that. He's been, he's been playing well. Uh, I I will say though for Postman, if he scores a little more. Then Static Shock can take these maps, matches, and and that offense from them. Well, it was great that last game. We need to see Postman convert a few more of those shots. Changing the car up, he's now going to go for Plain Dominus. And if you know me, you know I absolutely hate the Dominus. I can't, I cannot like it. It's also because I I like the Octane Hitbox more. So, you no, know, it's ju it's just my personal preference. Make a blaze. Oh, almost gets caught out. He does. You love him anyways. Of course, yeah. We all, yeah, we love everyone that comes in. As long as you're not racist, we're, we're all happy. Maple will get a goal. And hello there, Brixen. Is that how you pronounce it, man? Brixen? Is it, or is it Bryn? Like, the X like, doesn't get counted. Nice to see you. Uh, which team are you supporting for? Or if you have any support. Or do you just want to see some good Rocket League? This, this has been an absolutely electric series. Kinetic, and post, and it has all because, been because both teams strong on offense, strong on defense. This one gonna fall to Postman. Oh, and he and he shoots it high right. Oh, that that net was open. While it was a tough shot, you do expect them to convert those. An unfortunate error and an unfortunate situation. Both, you're raising cars so much. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Don't worry about it. What a shot from Postman. Oh, okay. He has a TP explosion. Well, you know, I was going to be so happy. I was going to celebrate his goal, but he's got the TP explosion. I want that. I really want that so badly. Someone get me that TP explosion. I will love you forever. Great shot, though. Top left, top left corner. Excuse me for what I said earlier. He missed top. He missed wide left. He made amends for that error. For that, for that error. I did criticize him for his shooting. Said he wasn't doing enough. He was averaging... More than three goals a game in the last series. He needs to continue. He needs to show that consistency. You have the Crimson. That's nice. So it's it's, it's bloody. That's great to know. Great goal from Omega Blaze. As now we gotta talk about that uh, Crimson explosion. Man, you, you like that explosion? I I love the TP. Personally, it looks so funny. It would be something I'd use. Currently, I have uh, Big Splash and uh, Meteor Shower. I'd probably put the TP on my Orange explosion because I like those kind of meme explosions. Maple going up for it. A strange area. Uh, I don't think he got more than five feet off the ground. And that one. Yes. As this one will not favor him. Sadly. A lot of times the strange plays will confuse people enough that they'll just like... Get scored on. Another great shot from Omega Blaze. He's gonna quiet me. Dude, I would. Uh, what are you... What uh, are you on? Are you on a... Be oh yeah, no, you can't trade that stuff. Dang it. I mean, if I could get the TP explosion, I'd, I'd get it. Another great shot from Omega Blaze. 
They're doing some target practice here, and that target's in the top left corner. And both of them are hitting it well. And again, great. Uh, and here's the offense coming from Static Shock. I've been saying it a while. Omega Blaze scoring a lot, and his name pops up again on the scoreboard. Three goals and assists and two saves, but it's really the goals that have been doing it. Last series, he averaged just 2.3 goals a game. Now, in this series, he must be averaging more. I can't. I think in every game he's been scoring two, except for this one. He's got his third, and there's still time left to get a fourth. Probably gonna look for it as well. Mega Blaze popping it, and he shoots it. A great save from Maple, covering as much as he can. Arm stretched out if he had an arm. Looking for a demo on a Mega Blaze. Postman bumps the player out. Mega Blaze can't get the boost. He wants that goal for himself, but he instead will. Pass it to the postman. And every goal he scores, I get more annoyed. I really want that TP explosion. Great pass from a makeup players. I'm sure that wasn't what he was intended for. The postman will just steer that one in the right direction. He will also get credit for that one. In this game, unlike the other ones, it's not a one goal difference. It's not close. And it is all sh and it is all uh, static shock. The team in orange. Postman still has him in the corner. Probably going to look to do it on himself. He will, trying to get the Doomsday Dish, a special one at that. But he doesn't get it. A great save, though. And Omega Blaze puts that one through. Six goals to one. And uh, I, uh, I think we're going to get a uh, a Brazil if they... They just need to score one more. We just got to see one more goal. They get a Brazil. And, and, it, and it's still all for him. Last last game, their problem was their accuracy. They couldn't score with the offense they had. This game seems to have been tidied up as they scored six goals with half the game remaining. Radiance only one. Make that two. Yoda gets his first goal of the game. And for Radiance, this is a tough comeback to make, if any. Game three will decide who gets match points. It is a best of five, so... Three games to win it. Both teams did it win their games. One goal difference. Game two went to overtime. For, and was won by Radiance. Phantoms. But if they want to get make the comeback, they're going to need to make some crazy strides here. And Yoda off the backboard. An awkward place. Maple in. Off target. As two players were crashing in, Omega Blaze pops up. Postman. Oh, what a save. Having a, a very awkward shot as the makeup plays. Will want to save his teammates. Almost an own goal. We did see them almost have an own goal before with Postman clearing it off his crossbar in game too. But that pressure will lead to a goal. Yoda 50-50 and for Postman, that's why you play Octane Hitbox. You don't ever lose a 50-50. I'm sorry, I'm ratting on the Dominus too much, am I? Am I ratting on the Dominus? Anyone out there Dominus means? So sorry for you guys. I keep making fun of that card. I really should probably stop, shouldn't I? Omega Blaze off the back wall. And Postman coming in. Trying to get some power on that shot. Omega Blaze. And right now, that momentum in Radiance's, Radiance Phantom's favor. I think Orange Cobalt comes in Octane Main. Oh, you're an Octane Main. Cool. Yeah, I know. I'm making fun of the Dominus too much. Again, no harm to Dominus players. I'm just rad I'm just making fun of you guys. Uh, I, I, I actually like that car. I used to main it oh, when I was uh, first starting this game. I actually loved it. Made some of the craziest saves in that car. Well, crazy at that point. It probably looks really bad now, but... I, was, I made some crazy saves in that car. And I mean, I might play it more nowadays, as I want to try out like new cars and such. Maybe I give the, maybe I give the Dominus a try once again. It's been rusting in that garage for a while. People... Uh, with a pinch and to the Dominus man, post the postman looking to get past two. He does one left to beat Maple using his 1v1 ability to get that one away. Mega Blaze into the corner. Maple will get a touch and he's gonna go for it his own. Toyota postman saves and that will give him space. Radiance Phantoms put all they had into that play. Trying to flick it over Maple, he isn't able to. And Omega Blaze not there for it. And Maple. He hits it wide. Maybe you feel chunky. I actually think it's a pretty thin car. I think the chunky car is the, those ultra-octane cars. 
personally, myself, those things are massive. They have so much height on them. People looking for a goal. It would be a consolation goal if he gets it. Flick, and he will get it. A highlight goal here for Maple. But it's probably too little too late for him. They will get a fourth goal. They won't make it look absolute uh, like a blowout like it was earlier for the first half of the game. Radiant's Phantoms. Well, they are going to lose this game. Six goals to four. You do need you do have to commend them for the effort they've been making. They weren't out of it, and Yoda will not be able to put that one through. It will end 6-4. As soon as the ball hits the ground, there it does. Game three is over. Static Shock does take this one, scoring the first six goals. And they were able to to cruise their way to a victory. It wasn't easy. Phantoms did try to make a comeback. And you can see the shots here. Eleven each. So I'm, again, the shooting from both teams is what is the most impressive part I saw. Static Shock averaging over five goals a game. Phantoms, four and a half. We'll go to game four here on Utopia Coliseum Dusk. Where is it? And again, I love those kind of games where it's back and forth. I do like this high scoring. Hello there, odd fellows. Nice to see you. The captain of Static Shock. It's it's uh, it's good to see a love your, your lovely face. How are you doing? Hope oh, I hope you're doing well. And uh, I, I'm sure you're very happy with with the result of that last match, won't you, odd fellow? Six goals is a lot. You guys are averaging so many goals a game. It's incredible. And I bet you know. I bet that's a follow from odd fellow. Hello there, Will. It's nice to see you. We got, we finally got a, play, a person from Radiance I can recognize. It's nice to see you. We are into game four of an absolutely frenetic series between Radiance Phantoms and Static Shock. And, and Short Circuit Gaming, Static Shock. And now it's Will who actually gave me the follow. Nice to see my boys. <laughs> and Postman, during the transition, he will change his car once again. This time, taking the old Batmobile. Not the good one. The small one. No, I'm joking. All Batmobiles are the same. I'm just making fun of all the cars that they're choosing. I shouldn't be. Blake's changes car all the time. And, uh, you know, I, I'm definitely not caster cursing them. Caster curse, caster curse, caster curse, caster curse. Um, I'm definitely not caster cursing, and I promise you, while I am a part of uh, Radiance Esports, I am not choosing sides. Tweet out eventually. I see you, Will. It, it is nice to see you. I did make a post on Twitter. So you have no reason to be uh, upset. Again, I made it. I made the post for you. So you you don't have to worry, man. I always make I always make posts for every match I cast, including the ones where I have very little time to to get ready. So don't worry. I hope I hope your night's been well, though, man. Obviously, having work, it's kind of rough. I'm on a, I'm currently on a spring break. Just came back from a, a vacation to Costa Rica. And lucky for me, I got to speak a little bit of Spanish. I've been. I've been taking Spanish classes, so and it was not for Costa Rica. It was for school, and I'm actually and I'm not very good at languages, but it was a great trip. I could definitely send some pictures. If you guys want to see me send some pictures, I will send some on Twitter right after this match. You just gotta let me know. And Maple, uh, let's get back into the match. Maple, gonna take it this match, relatively uneventful, unlike the last ones. At this point, we had maybe five goals for Static. For Static Shock last match. And so far, nobody's been able to score. And nobody's been able to take a ton of possession either. Make a play. It's a great demo. They have been making use of some crazy def defensive demos. Loose. Godly captures. He's, he's now cursing. Postman, you've been doing that this whole stream. I mean, I got him as I don't know. I don't know if you're supporting. Uh, Static Shock, or if you are just a, or just a diehard Radiance fan. By the way, man, I'm all for it. You're not, as long as you don't insult anyone and make any, and, and be mean, I'm perfectly fine with what you're saying. Most man, that one gets deflected, almost making Ma uh, Maple sweat a little bit. I'm sure on that goal line, that ball almost careened into the top corner. Going to the mid though, Yoda will break the deadlock halfway through, over halfway through. Will get a goal, and this is his debut match. As a part of Radiance Phantoms 2's. He's your teammate elsewhere, uh, go, uh, Godly. It's nice to see you. Uh, what what league is he, uh, your teammate in? I just need to wonder. Is it like a different IGL team? 
I need to I need to know, man. I gotta know. I got to know. Close man, taking it to the corner. I'm gonna pop it across. I'm gonna follow up his own play. And that Batmobile doing work. He, but he need but they but they haven't gotten as much offense as they used as they used to. They need to be uh they need to be able to uh fix their weakness, which is their accuracy. They were not accurate in their uh oh my goodness what a shot. That hits both posts. And uh Fear the Batmobile. No, I I mean, I I do. I do feel the Batmobile, man. I fear any car that's not like an Octane because, I mean, when you're playing that car, you have to be confident in that car, and that scares me. No, I'm fearing it. I wonder what car he's going to take for the last game. He was a Scarab. He was a Dominus. He's, he's been everything. I hope, honestly, maybe he goes full flakes and he, gets the, and he gets the Cockroach Topper. I'd love to see that. He gets, like, the Proteus and he does, like, a Musty Flick. Oh, that would be amazing. Yoda getting his second of the game. 33% shooting accuracy this game. Uh, incre impressive shooting. Here are the stats so far, if you guys want to see him. And he's been assisted both times by Maple. The teamwork working his way. And this shot here from Maple will go in. I'm just reading chat. They, they aren't actually letting me, to, letting me look at chat for long enough. And this one... In inverse of the last goals, Yoda passing up to Maple. Proteus. Yeah, I've seen Flakes play on the Proteus in Season 8. He got a musty flick that way. It was absolutely incredible. So I don't know if he has it. I don't know if he's going to play it. I don't know what car he's going to play. But all I know, it could be an Octane. And Yoda, he'll get a fourth goal. They got it. These guys, the problem now is that they're scoring too much. Uh, he's me on the field. He needs you godly captures. Uh, I, I, I don't think you're on the team, man. So I'm sorry for that. You can't join, but... It's saying that Yoda's been uh, been making me have to continue to talk about him here. He scores a, a third goal for him. And it's like, oh, you're not even in the league, Godly. Oh, okay. Ginger, you're going to talk with him? That's fine, man. You can talk with him. I don't really care. Just, I don't care if you have to talk with him in the match. You guys do get a minute to a minute to use it. I would recommend using that. In uh, last season on my twos team, uh, it's named Sporty's Minions after me. Uh, I had, uh, I have my, one of my, uh, players was named Peak. He was our sub. He was also our coach, and e between every single match, we would use the whole minute to relax, to de-stress, to make some game plans, and seriously, he was so vital to our team. We ended up winning that season, so, you know, a coach is super beneficial, especially, especially for, uh, matches like these that rely so heavily on your momentum. Might go to jail at some point. Hey! If you do, make sure you get me casting your matches. And Omega Blaze! What a goal! That's a demo f as well. But the dribbling coming out strong here. One touch. He catches it on his car. Flicks right over Yoda. And the demo play makes it. Right, so, hello there, Carlos. I hope... Uh, uh, This is currently Champ 1, Champ 2 gameplay, if you're wondering. And I do not... And I, and I have to say... Man, I am going to have to... Uh, yeah, one second there. There we go. I do not respect people saying stuff like that in my chat. So that will not be tolerated there, Carlos. I have timed you out for, I think, five minutes. Come if When you come back, please have a better attitude. Well, I do not respect that. I am all for ha for making... I am all for having fun. And, e and even having a little bit of fun of, uh, when it comes to your players. But I do not respect insults. So please, if, when you do come back, come out with a uh, a better uh, attitude. As game four does go the way of phantoms, they will win five one. And everybody, you know what that is. We go in the champions field, everybody. You gotta get excited. Let's get up, get moving. And this one, phantoms doing what Static Shock did the last game. Static Shock scored six goals last game. And, Phantom, and Phantoms in this one scoring 5. They were able to use that defense. Their defense has been absolutely crazy. They've been a brick fall. Especially Maple has been an, has been very tough to beat. And that's what's been helping them in a lot of these matches. That's what's been keeping them in the series. Their ability to stay on defense and make and do whatever they need to do to keep the ball out. As we do have Champions Field. And, as predicted, Static Shock is taking that whole minute... And they're using this as like a timeout. RLCS had timeouts. 
Let me just get to that guy as, wait, as a friend. As they do have timeouts. And that's what they're used for. They're used to take a break. Try to try to reset that momentum into game five. Radiance Phantoms want to take this one in exciting fashion. It was a, and let me uh, and as soon as I get water, we're gonna be starting up. Ah, good water. And we go into game five. It's all tied up. Two a beast. A de facto best of one. And postman. Oh, he's going with. I think is that the grog? Is that uh, uh, you guys gotta tell me? Is that the grog? He did change up. Oh, we need to get an ion boost. I love the ion boost. That's my boost. I have. I use a currently. I use a black ion boost. So I like it. It's just a bit loud for me sometimes. But luckily for me, my volume's pretty low, so I won't have to worry about hearing it too much. But uh, you guys gotta tell me. Is that the grog? Please, like, please, someone tell me. I need to know. I need to know what Kari's using. And if not, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna ask him in chat. See what Kari's using. I suppose, man, he is actually going to make work with it. Getting some very strong 50s. He is back into what I believe is an Octane hitbox, so... As long as he uses car well, he will be winning it. Is in, fa in, in, in fact... It is the Grog. Yeah, let's go. I know my cars. Postman gets his first goal with the Grog. Let's go, game five. Postman opens up the score sheet. And I love this flake strategy. I don't know... You guys got to tell me how he does it, but... Why well, he does it, but like he's doing the flake strategy. Like I don't know if he, I know Flakes did it because he didn't think cars mattered in the game too much. As long as he used an octane hitbox, he was happy. But like I gotta know why he does it. Does he do it because it like helps reset his mind between every match, or is he is he one of those guys who just wants to have fun? You know, Gl, you guys gotta let me know. And Maple coming up for it, gonna get a shot here, looking for another one. And Yoda so aggressive on that challenge. Had he not gotten it, it would have been a goal the other way. Maple though getting back and a great save. What a save! Off the crossbar. Yoda gets this one. Cleared an Omega Blaze. Last one back. Gonna have to make a touch. He doesn't make a touch. It is wayward to the left. Gonna go back. Maple. Cleared high and far. And it's gonna force the Static Shock players to retreat. Into their own half. They cower! And that's why Yoda gets a goal off the Maple Syrup Pass. Oh, he does it while playing to have fun and throwing off opponents. I love that. But what I also love is that passing play from Maple. You're using the corner play. And that is why he's averaging 1.25 assists per game. The most assists out of any player on either team. Almost gets a goal there as well. Catching Postman off guard on the front post. But it just misses Omega. Now it leaves it for Postman. Postman, one on two. Yoda, forced into a challenge. We'll shoot this one long, and Omega Blaze can't catch up. And Yoda takes the lead here with by a single goal. And whenever they needed it most, Yoda has been the one to step up and score. But you can't under undermine the, the uh, master class that is Maple Syrup. He's been scoring so many goals. Yoda up. Flicks it. Looks it long, looking to follow it himself. Does get the donk. Gonna keep it to the back wall. And it's a cross, and Maple Syrup scores a reverse rolls. Do a mustard flick? Oh, I hope. I'd love to see that, man. I love musty flicks. A great pass to Maple. And this time it is Yoda doing the passing. Both players getting on getting assists on the board. Yoda gonna clear it out to postman. He's gonna he's gonna hit it to the sidewall, and now for Static Shock, half the game left. They gotta do what they did. They gotta do what they did in the break. They gotta reset that momentum. And here comes Omega Blaze. He can do it himself off the off the backboard. Postman up, gets bumped out by Yoda. Maple Syrup will be able to save this one, but he will not get the boost. The boost being stolen. Will spawn in approximately 10 seconds. Is that ball going across? I got smoke screened. A Postman did, and he gets a goal. Tell Postman that Block says to do a speed flip kickoff. I can't tell him that, man. I can ask him questions and such before and after matches, but I can't tell him to do things in game. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get him to know. You might have to tell him yourself. But like, you know what? If he uh, if his kickoffs are that bad, which they aren't that bad. I mean, that's a great kickoff right there. 
A slight loss, allowing Omega to come in and get the first touch. So that's a perfect kickoff. He'll get it himself. He's gonna try to get the 50 50 on Yoda. It does go to the midfield. And Omega, back wall. And Maple, even though he is getting absolutely harassed from by Postman, he's able to make the necessary block and clear. It doesn't clear the pressure, it only prevents it. Postman to the back wall. Being cleared out. Omega shot. Yoda makes the save. And Omega to the midfield. Won't get a second touch. Leaves it for Postman. Postman not there. He's going to get a shot and he will get it. What a play from Postman. He initially backed off of this one thinking that Maple would make the block. Maple though. The play was just too difficult for him. And Postman able to recover. He, he wins the race to the ball in the end. And that ties it up 3-3. We're going to need a fourth goal from, my, from, from one team. At least. Omega Blaze looking to get the fourth. Looking for a double tap. Would have been a highlight real play in game five. Isn't able to get it. And we haven't seen a ton of crazy mechanical plays. Uh, save from Maple's uh, sort of air dribble to end game three, I believe. No, it wasn't to end game four. It was a nice play. We do need to, we nope, oh, it was game three. I am right. I am right. It was game three. I am I'm thinking that way too much. You guys gotta help me here. I'm I, I don't I'm not even that tired. I'm just like forgetting. Omega. Leaving it for Postman. Postman not able to beat Maple. He didn't use a ton of boost getting up there. He was already supersonic. We'll give him the chance to get back. But he won't need it. But he won't need that. Omega able to do the work for him. And get a demo along the way. Maple, he's gonna have to waste some time here. And he does just that. Yoda. In to make the next the crucial block. And, and Omega. 15 Maple. Gonna go to the sidewall. Postman will be first to it. Isn't able to get the touch. Yoda clears to the back wall. First, who will be it? It will be Omega. And he, it had to be Omega. That could have been a fourth goal. And at this point in the game, giving up any goal, it's about it's it might as well be golden goal. As whoever scores this, I don't see the other team getting a, getting another one back. Omega, shooting bottom left, just out of reach of Maple, but also just out of the gaping arms of the net. Maple, will we go to game five overtime? He wants to end this one now. It will drop game five overtime. And one plus one does equal potato. Good job, Codley. You you pass, man. You pass. You pass. You graduate. Yoda, gonna go to the back corner. Omega Blaze. Omega Blaze looking for a 50. And both teams are gonna have to they're gonna play so defensive now. Any goal will end it. But it just depends how long. Who's gonna take that risk? And who will put on put the crucial shot in the net? Who will make that crucial play? Who will make who will score the crucial goal to win this whole series? Because it all comes down to this. A single goal will end it. Literally, it's overtime. That's exactly what it what, what, what it's like. Close man. As Omega to the side uh, Maple up. And Omega will take this himself. Does double commit with the postman. Postman here. 15 with Yoda. Those 50s. So tough sometimes to get. Because it can roll out into the midfield. Where you don't want the ball to go. Because then it gives the other team a shot. And at this point. Any shot might as well be a goal. As both teams. Have been shooting super well this series. Yoda. And, po and this one's going to go across. Postman can't make the touch. Maple to himself. And Omega. Couple of challenges here. He's going to miss the ball, though. And that will give Radiance Phantoms the possession. Oh, excuse me. Maple leaving it to Yoda. Postman jumping up for it. And for short. And for uh, short. Nope. Static shock. Short circuit. That's the org. They haven't been able to get any pressure yet. This game has been very different from their last ones. In their first three matches, it was their game. It was their game to lose. They put on so much pressure, so many shots. But now, Radiance Phantoms are now are now take, are getting a hold of the midfield, taking the boost, leaving leaving Omega Blaze and the Postman on defense. A shot here, Postman will be able to make the save. Gonna need Omega Blaze to get the clear, and he does. Omega Blaze shot long, shot. It's just wide. Postman, another one off the crossbar. Yoda can't make it. Bumps out the la bumps out the shooter in Omega. Oh, 
one. That was a real close opportunity. Another shot going through! Omega plays scores. A flurry of shots will end it. Jodo, unable to get a clear strong enough. And Maple left for boost. That will end the series. As well as short circuit gaming, Static Shock takes it in five. Again, thank you, Oddfellow and Will. And thank you, Amy, thank you, Ginger. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Debt Collector. Thank you, everybody who comes in. Yeah, that was a very close overtime. Two minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. Exactly. He's <laughs> that person. I know him. And a close match. I got. I got to say, great play from both teams. And in the end, the offensive Static Shock was able to win it out. And the defense, though. The defense was very strong, though. From... Radiance Phantoms, just not able to do it as I am here. Hello, guys. Chat is now back. I should probably make this a little bigger, right? There you go. Now it's good. It's nice to see you guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. No Name Val and Gamer Will for jumping in. Not to be confused with the real Will, obviously. But both of you guys are amazing. And what was also amazing was the defense of both teams. Both of them coming in with high scoring averages, over five goals for uh, the winners, and just four and a half, and uh, just four and a half goals on average from Raiders Phantoms. Nothing to be a scare, shot to shy away from. But yet it was the defense to do it for both teams. The team with the better defense was able to do it. And that in that overtime, it came down to defense as well as Static Shock. Had to hold out for what felt like almost the whole two minutes twenty seconds on their own half without a lot of boost. Made a cup, made a couple saves, and when they got that chance, the one chance they needed, they took it. And they and that will be it, folks. That will end the game. Again, thank you all for coming out tonight. I am Sporty FC. How was the cast? I need I need some uh, feedback from you guys. How was the casting? Was it good? Was it like a good a thumbs up? Two thumbs up? You can put a thumbs down in there, you know, if you if you want to think that. I, I need to know, how's the casting there, guys? And hello there again. Now send would listen again. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet of you. Oh, that's not how you do it. There you go. Uh, and hello there again. Uh, I need to remember your name again. Worst gamer, because I, I, I always remember people from the, just the names that they show. Uh, Omega Blaze, there you go. It was nice to see you, Omega Blaze. A, an impressive performance, seriously, from you. You were scoring so many goals during that whole series. Definitely lived up to the uh, averages you are putting on before. So again, good good play from everybody. In all honesty, no team, we, no team should leave heads hanging low. This game could have gone the other way, had a few things changed. But... That's not how that, that's, we don't have time machines. We can't go back in time. The past has just happened. A great win here from Static Shock. And thank you all for joining. Again, I am Sporty FC. Uh, I am, I, I am your, I was your caster tonight. I am your caster tonight. I am, I will be casting again next Wednesday. Be, stay tuned, stay in tune for that. And I will all, I will see you all later. Thank you guys for coming out, and thank you, Postman, for the nice warm comment. See you guys. It was nice seeing you.